cameraman. Yes. Number one cameraman. Yes. Did you have family that you lost? Or? Well, I lost so many families. My nephew, my sister, my sister's husband, 175 from local people. This is so long. How many were the guests? Four oh, guests. We didn't have any nobles. We didn't have any nobles for guests. No, I. Good morning, everyone. That was not a great sleep. I have to admit, my heel was out at me. And it was pissing down rain all night from like midnight to one o'clock. And in the mountains there, you can see there was even snow. So this is our place for the night. Now we're just gonna go and get some breakfast. And I slept in that room right there. And if you look in the lodge behind it, you can see the clouds. So we're actually above the clouds. We're at 3,000 meters. Um, so it does affect your breathing and stuff. Starts your life. I found him, it's not, I'm okay with it. But the Michael stayed with, he said he had a hard time breathing. His heart was irregular with it. And he like sleep and doze off and on. So it does happen like as you get higher, you have to get acclimatized to it. So, oh well, another day in the Himalayan mountains. Okay, so we're leaving the uh, guest house, or tea house, and we're starting day three. So that was that Tibetan uh, house. The clouds have come down quite a bit compared to what I took a picture of about a half an hour ago, where you could see the mountains with the snow. So we're in the cloud level at 3,000 meters. And we'll just keep our way going. Here's some donkeys getting ready for to transport goods up the to and from the tea houses. It's a hard life for them. They're getting their breakfast. There we go. And now we're heading off over the bridge. Just stop to take a minute. Look at the views behind us as we're walking up through the path. On a nice Thursday morning. We're on a stretch now for the next 20 minutes. This is pure ascend. We'll look at the views. The skies are starting to turn blue. So it's just zigzagging all the way up. Now we finished the climb for the 20 minutes here. We're entering into a first guest house. Buddha guest house. 3,200 meters. What's the highest I've ever been? Before that was only 1345. So I've over doubled it. There's the views. Look at the views all around. Spectacular, definitely worth it. Okay, so if you look up right there, that's Lang Tang. Look at the views. It's 
very beautiful. You can see the snow peaks popping up on top there. Very nice. This is another, as we're approaching, see the little wood bridge? So it's a landslide area. So you always have to watch out. Never know what can happen. Namaste. And we're going to walk up towards the bridge, cross over. We're getting closer to the uh, site of the uh, landslide from the uh, 2015 earthquake. Now, as uh, speaking to people, back then it was nine on the Richter scale which is really high but what was uncommon was it lasted for a minute you know most earthquakes will last 10 15 seconds or so but this was one whole minute that's what caused the extreme damage so now we'll cross over the bridge and then we'll head back up a bit the next time i'll see we'll be at the uh, over the lang tang village that was buried it's not the... Uh, ah, we'll go. It's no big deal. Here's the first prayer wall. See the Tibetan language. You're always supposed to go to the left of it, like clockwise. So if you look at the Silver Mountain, that's where the fell place. It's behind the orange top house. So all that is where Langtang Village was. And farther off, you see all those houses. That's the new Ang Tang that was built uh, post 2015. Just taking a breather here while we wait for the rest of our party. There's a helicopter over there. Don't know if you can see it straight in the sunlight, but I can make it out. We're not far from Ang Tang, and uh, just taking a break to wait for my water to get to me. Kind of thirsty. This one last tea house before Wang Tang. So here you see it more. And then the rocks. That's where all the village was. There's the new Ang Tang. And then there's the donkeys that passed us just recently. A little bit. You can really see the devastation of the earthquake and the landslide. Walking over basically a tomb. And that's where we created tomb. You can see the wall there. So We weren't able to retrieve all the, all the bodies, obviously. I know the army came in and tried to rescue and that, but it's kind of hard when the whole mountain falls down on top of the village. Picture of the one house that survived from the old Lang Tang. It's the only house that's left. 
Hey, look there, you can see the white peaks, the mountains behind the Wang Tang Village. As we're walking up to it. Village, 3,420 meters. The prayer walls as we're walking into Langtang Village. Remember, you always go on the left hand side. monument and that we'll take a look at that later. Namaste. Namaste. Now we'll go back in. I will be staying here with the porter. The other rest of the group they're gonna head off to Kanjangopa but I want to stay here because they weren't really gonna plan to uh, stay the night in Langtang but I wanted to because I wanted to explore the village and you know, look back at the history of it. So I'll show you off with the, the room that I got. And I'm very, very, very spoiled on this one. You'll see. So here's the bedroom. And you see it's the view. You're overlooking where the earthquake and the landslide happened. And then the prayer wall right side. Beautiful. So they have the two bed blankets here. And the pièce de résistance. Your own sit down bathroom. With a shower. Luxury. So. I'm going to put this there. There. And walk around. So later on I'm going to do some laundry. And then we're having dinner together first. I've ordered the dal bat again, and I'm going to probably do my laundry and then take a walk around um, the village. We'll start off with the memorial and you just see the different uh, tea houses and see what's like Tank Village. And I'll show you all in detail what it's about. Here's Michael trying out the border bag. You know, go for a walk. How is, how is it? It's, uh, I found it quite easy. Yeah. It's easier than walking. Yeah. 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 Just uh, did my laundry after lunch at Dabat. So I have it hanging up on the line over there. Now what I'm going to do is go take a walk around the village first we're gonna go to the, uh, the shrine just waiting for the porter to come he has to stay with me it's a beautiful view it's a beautiful room I got it's all modern after awake obviously the earthquake you know they had a lot of help rebuilding of stuff but it's very beautiful. And there you can see where it all crumbled off. That whole face came down. So, I walk to the uh, shrine here. The stupa. around it
Here's the plaque. Don't know if you can read it. Looks like they painted over, but it's for. Uh, these are all people that died. I think they have more of it. And then here. And they have the Freyros. Home money, put me home. Home money. Home money, put me home. And you always do it yes. clockwise. And there's some more names. They paint it all over it. Yes. It's hard to read. They paint. So here you have there's name in the list. This name. Of Pisons. So they have all their names and their ages. And where they were, Wang Tang, one, two, three, four. So they were the place where they were staying. That goes on. And on. And there's another one. And some more. So, Australia, Belgium, Britain, Canada, France, Germany, uh, and Indonesia, Israel, Malaysia. So, what? Doctor Dan Wagon. Greetings. The Thunder. Yes. Yeah, you hear the thunder now. We'll walk around quick before it rains. We'll see the village. Here's the wall that starts the Wang Tang village. So this is the guest house that I'm staying at. My room's the back corner there. Very nice room. Can't believe it has a western toilet and an indoor shower. So very good. We'll take a walk. Now if it rains, I guess I have to bring my clothes. It's on the line. So here's their guest house we're staying at. The village view, hotel and lodge. Just ate Dow bed, it was very good. But you see all the different places you could stay. And that one's a big one. It's three four uh, stores. And here's another gray wall. You always have to go on the left hand side. It's for good karma. You see the Tibetan writing in the rocks. Little bit bakery and coffee corner. I'm still full from the Dow bed. Maybe later. YouTuber. YouTuber. Good. <laughs> Namaskar. Video for my cafe. I will come back. Okay. I just ate Dow bed. I'm full. No, no. I mean you just. Take just take a picture. Cafe. Okay. I'll show off the back. <laughs> It's one of the first ones you see when you come in. Yes. And the Little Tibet Bakery yes, and Coffee Corner. Yes. Huh? Maybe you can I'll go show, inside. I'll show inside too. Oh, they have special lights. Very good. Oh, wow, it's nice. Hello, namaste. 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 Wow, Ramro. Deli Ramro. Ramro, sir. Ramro, Deli Ramro. Capuchino, Ramro, sir. I just finished eating uh, just dal a few minutes. I'm going to walk around. Maybe when I come back, I'll have a okay. cappuccino or very nice. Very good. I think that one's getting built. Is that a new one put bit and built or? It's a very nice coffee house. Did you see it? 
Did you go inside? Yes. It's very nice. Here's another big one. Three fours. They have all sorts of different buildings here. Someone was saying there's about 500 people live in the village. And they all have Wi-Fi available. We'll see when we get to around the back. You can see the big white uh, tower. So we're about 3,600 meters in elevation. Another guest house there. Look at the mountains that surrounds you. There's a bunch of firewood inside. Still working on that one. And that's the hotel and lodge. 3,475 meters. That's how high we are. guest house wholesale and tea shop namaste we have little shops here you buy stuff there's another couple. And there's the tower you can see in the mountain on top. It's for the, the Wi-Fi. There's another little shop. You can get some beer, some local Roxy. Got a guy on a motorbike. Namaste. Namaste. Ciao. Mick. 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 <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> Very nice people here. Namaste. Hello. Mero nam Michael Ho. I need to buy. Mero nam Ke Ho. Takli. Takli. You bad. China. China. I love the language. I love the language. I love There's some more shops. They sell goods. Maybe I'll take a look at one on the way back. And then I'll buy something or something. Just wanted to take a look at the village. Namaskar. You buy Tibetan huts, which are knitted by the women in the village. No shortage of rocks. Namaste. Namaste.
There's another house. These are all the different villages, or the different houses in the village. Sunshine Guest House. That's a big one. That one's four floors. You can probably hold a pretty big group. So it depends on how you come here. If you're going in, you know, solo by yourself with a guide or a porter or a group. I've seen big groups coming in on the walking in. One of them as much as 30 people, including the porters and the guide and uh, the people. So you need to have a lot of uh, facilities to accommodate all of them. Mount Kalash Guest House. Namaste. Namaste. No, no. Namaskar. That's a big house there. Traveler's guest house. They all have Wi Fi. Welcome to Traveler's Guest House. 3,500. So I'm officially up to 3,500 is my highest altitude. And there's houses. Look at all the way on the top there. There's safe drinking water there. They can fill up your thermos. And there's a little pony or donkey sitting grazing. And then the big tower, like they said. Look at the little wall in front of you. See the clouds coming down. And before we could see the mountains, the peak mountains with the snow on it, but they're all covered. We got that earlier this morning. And there's always water coming in. That's all from the condensation from the clouds. And it, it, throughout the mountains ranges, you always see these waterfalls just coming down. Look at the back side of this one. It's really well decorated. Traveler's Guest House. And then you see the kitchen's upstairs. Very good. So we'll make our way back. And I'll turn it on if we stop and get a, something at a shop or get a coffee. Shops, yes. Oh, she has some really nice stuff. The hats, like the bracelets. For my new mind, the pen. my own They're very well decorated. And these ones have some color on it. Oh, this money. This money. Same. And this big heavy problem. Mm. This is like no problem. No. Money is sad. It's very nice. What's cut? Uh, it's cut the One thousand. One thousand. That's not bad. Eleven. No money. You're alive and then five thousand. No, that money, the money, 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 money. One thousand for that. Hmm. Thanks. This calendar. Okay, what is it? No, no problem. This is all. You have all the notes here. 
Okay. Oh my god, it's got the old. It's got the eight hundred. Eight hundred. Well, one seven hundred. This, how much? You put a good idea, a sapego. Charpes. Yo tinta es co. No, you said 1,000 for this. So one thousand, one thousand, one thousand, one thousand. for three thousand for all that. Oh, yeah. Three thousand. Okay, sir. Three six. Three thousand for all. No, three thousand per bundle. Three. No, per bundle. But you said this was one thousand. Money, one thousand. Yeah, so one thousand. Why did you put it at ten thousand? Why did you put it at ten thousand two hundred less? Ba, you put it at ten thousand. Ten thousand. One two three. What are you? You have to fill in the answer. Ba, you go. Yes, go. A thousand. Three thousand. Yes. Okay. Very good. Last two more things. Three thousand. Okay. This is two hundred less. Yeah. Yeah, no. Plastic. 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 No, no, no plastic. Put in pocket. Pocket. Save the environment. Tanya bad. Okay. Tanya bad. So I'm happy with those. I'm gonna give those as gifts. Not sure who, but they'll be fun. It's really nice. Okay, we're walking down, and we're gonna. We were asked by a lady to take a look at her shop, so we're gonna take a look and see what she has. She has a lot of wool stuff, gloves, hats. Oh, she's laid in there now. And then she has like other stuff that she sells. I'm the party at the same How much is Kotio the prayer flags? It's Kotio. This? Yeah. One piece? One piece. Uh, 700. 700? Yeah. Mila, <laughs> They're the big ones, eh? This. 700? Uh, this 700. One piece 700. And how much the hats? Hats? Um, 1,200 rupees. 1,200? Uh, yeah. Here's a small one. <laughs> this big? I think that wouldn't be okay. I don't know. Get this one. Little slippers. What do I want? I'll get something at a wall. How does it come up? Did you dip them down? Let's see if this fits. This? Yeah. Hold that for a sec. Your cameraman. Yes. Number one cameraman. Yes. Camera. <laughs> uh, good. <laughs> good. Yeah. Uh, yeah good. Nice. There. Nice, good. Yeah. That fits. Um. Yeah. I'll get that. Okay. Yeah. 1,200, eh? Yeah, okay. 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 
100. Three of these smaller ones. 500 mil. Uh, let's see, do I have any smart? 10, 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 55. No. Uh, do you have change? Change? No. Change? Okay. Change? 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 <sighs> it's nice in here. Uh, Boy, Wes, you have a seat. Yes, you sit here. I need that out of the now. Very nice. Cheers, coffee. Coffee? Black coffee or cappuccino or black coffee? Oh. Maybe bread also or dusty? Dusty, I think you have a big dal bat, I thought. No, a huge dal bat. Yes. That's all I eat is dal bat. Yes. Um. Huh? Martin. Martin, what's that? Yeah, more body. Body is good. Here's the coffees. Martin, what's that? Yeah. Even if Irish coffee here. Yeah. It's not too bad, the prices. Okay. You want black coffee for him? Okay, I think espresso. Uh, Americano? Yeah, Americano? Yes, I think. Yeah. Black coffee, okay. And, uh, you have? I'll have a, I'll try a cappuccino. Cappuccino, okay. Yeah. You're American or you're a cappuccino? I need to get a toppy when I go back to uh, Kathmandu. When I go to Kathmandu, I'm going to get one. Just like that. I didn't have time before I came here. Because it was only in Kathmandu for... A day and a half. Like a topic. Yeah. Like one like that. There's a place in, uh, where is it? What is it? Well, I have it. Uh, one of the bazaars in Kathmandu. It's an old bazaar. Um, they have copies that I've seen other vloggers get, and they were very reasonable. This Takatobi is nice. Yeah. Yes. Fancy lights too. Look at the lights. They're all gold and white. It's very well decorated. That's nice and cozy and warm with the fire going on there, so very lucky. And he has a nice big modern machine. for girls, ladies? Yeah. And then they could stretch so they could fit. Whatever, but they're really nice. You son daughter? Two two daughters. Two daughters. Yeah. Four daughters and one son. Oh, five. Big family. Oh, it's very nice. This this in Kathmandu would cost about uh, ten thousand. <laughs> They'll try for everything. Oh here's the donkeys coming through. Are they finished work or are they starting? They came from Kaya and Kumpra. Oh. Okay. Let's see. You're going back to Lazar? Yes. 
There's the donkeys coming in after those are empty canisters, I believe. They went up uh, to the next village, delivered their load, and now they're heading back in. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so here's my cappuccino. No need sugar, I don't think. It should be good enough. We'll enjoy this and then head back. Relax for the evening. And the price is very reasonable. I think the two of them together would be like a little over 600 rupees, which is like four or five euros. And Yes, would be one of them would be like more than that in uh, in Ireland. So very good saving. You know we're way up in the mountains, so almost uh, 3,500 meters. How long? Is this new? Yes. How long ago? It is just for ten days ago. Oh. Open. Oh wow. Oh, very much long. Hello. Oi. Ten days. Oi. We're breaking it in. Ten days. What did you do before this? I have a guest house. Which one? Tibetan guest house. Which? Just the one. Just there. I mean, before I have a guest house in landslide. Yeah. In the landslide. Where? Were I you? was running a guest house 25 years ago. Yeah, 25 years ago. Yeah. And more than long two long. years. Mm, it means like a lockdown. Yeah, with the one year earthquake and two years the Maoist oh, yeah. and government fighting. Oh, yes. yes. Two years, no. Five yeah. years, no more. <laughs> Where were you at the, when the earthquake were you? I was in here. Not in my guest house. No. Mm. Yeah. Wait, why not? Hello? Hello? Why not? Sumi no. The clouds are coming in. Ah? Really low. Getting really, la, la, la. Getting really foggy. La. You can't even see past the guest house there. La la la. La. Yeah. Yeah, so. I, did I you mean, have family that you lost? or? Well, I lost so many families. My nephew, my sister, my sister husband, 175 from local people. This is so long. How many were the guests? Foreign oh, guests? numbers. We didn't have it no more for this. No, right? Eh? Five, our local people. Yes. And? Because you knew who they were there, but we, you don't, yeah, we know. You don't take records of guests. Yeah, because we know the villagers, we know each other. Yeah. That's why we know the, those people are lost in there. Yeah. But guests, we don't have any numbers. No. To and by border, we don't have any numbers. And we lost 11 armies. And we lost 13 people, 13 like uh, who's working in the guest houses. Mm -hmm. And down there, below down there, the landslide area, we have uh, 21 guest houses and one army camp. Okay. It means like 22 houses. And only one my family are alive. I mean, we are lucky. Because in my guest house, just cook, and who is a helper? Three people, they're from outside from long time. Yeah. And my wife, my children, they are going to, going, same day morning, they are 8 o'clock, they have to go down to school in Kathmandu. Yeah. Because my children, I have finished those holidays, new sections. And me and four Dutch families, I'm guiding, still gu guiding too. Mm -hmm. We are starting from 9 o'clock from my guest house. Okay. And we are near the Kanjingo by 11.56, then shaking. And I think 12, I'll district. And they didn't get the bodies, all of them out there? No. Actually, not all of them. Did all. they get some out? Or? We get some. Some of them. Yeah. Because we get some of them. Some of them, 
then with just for the pieces of the pieces of the part of the bodies. Yeah. Just hand, legs, incense, kidney, you no. Know. Did you see the movie for uh, After Shake? Yeah. In a uh, uh, like uh, After Shake? Yeah, Netflix. Or Netflix? Yeah, yeah. Did you see? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, I did a lot of research before it came. I wanted mm -hmm. to come to Wang Tai. Mm -hmm. I know I went with the, with the group. Mm -hmm. uh, my foot's a little bit sore, but I okay. wanted to say, come to Wang Tai. I want to okay. stay a night in Wang Tai. Okay. That's what I went. They were going to. Kanji Gupa. Kanji Gupa. They're okay. going to stay there. They want to do the big. I'd rather. Because we have to get back to a certain time, mm -hmm. back to Severisi, because okay. they're going on another trek. They're going mm -hmm. to Everest and Namira Peak okay. coming up. But I would rather. I wanted to. This is why I came to Nepal to go to Lang okay. okay. So I wanted to spend at least, you know, a night here. Mm -hmm. So that's why I, I told my guide, I said, no, no, you guys can go on. Yes. But I'll stay here. Okay. And then on the way back, then they can pick me up and we'll okay. walk back. So, because I'd rather walk around. So I went around the village, I saw mm -hmm. them, you know, just. Yeah, mostly uh, these guest house are quite new. Yeah. After the earthquake. Well, was everything. Everything's new. Everything's new after Everything, the earthquake. After the earthquake, yeah. Now, was there a lot of government money or no. other governments? No. Government, they help us like just $3,000 for each yeah, normal houses. Yeah. And this also like make, make a processing. What about other countries? Did anyone mm, help? Some or? NGO, INGO, they help us. Yeah. They help us for our community. And after our community, we make divided the money. money. Because it's big now, considering it's only been yes. eight years. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So seven years, but then there's pandemic. Two years that nothing happened. Nothing. Like, I mean, like a uh, after outbreak, immediately guests are coming in October. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Not much, but just few. But they bring a tent and only about something like that. Because you don't have any houses. No. Yeah. Then after October, then we have to make starting for the small guest houses or something like that. And now these people, they make a very big guest house. Yeah, they're huge. Yes. They're, I see one that's yeah. four stories. Right here, yeah, four stories, five stories. Yeah. The big mountains though, the big mountains. Yes. I wanted to see the Himalayas. I've been, uh -huh. I've seen the, uh, the Rockies in Canada. Okay. And then I've seen the Alps, but I wanted to see the Himalayas, because they're so big. Like the yeah. biggest, the biggest mountain in Canada and the Rockies, and that okay. is only about four thousand five hundred okay. meters. Whereas in Nepal, that's mm -hmm. that's not even a hill. You know, there's yeah. so no, it's they're big. It's nice to see how you know big it is, mm -hmm. and the people are lovely. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Very good. Almost finished my coffee. I just finished paying the man. It was 7.20 for the two. I gave him a thousand. Wished him luck on his new venture. It's only a new coffee house. And it's starting to rain. Pick it down rain. Hello. And then we'll head back into the room and chill out for a bit, I think. And see if she found, saved my clothes. I think that'll be filming for today. Okay, one more little shot there. I'm going to show you the inside of the place I'm staying at. They have their dining room, so. Here's all the species of the animals in that. The birds. There you can see. There's a little shrine. That's really close to the stupa outside. Again, it's all new. Like everything in the village is very new. It's very comfortable looking. And then here's my clothes drying. So, she saved it from the land because when we were out walking around the village, it started to rain. I'd hang it up, but like you saw in the video. But then, oh well, we stopped by all over the place. We got a few little souvenirs and a, and a cappuccino. And now we'll just relax for the uh, rest of the afternoon. And then, Tomorrow we head back, start making our way back towards Cyberbase.
just sitting enjoying a nice cup of ginger, honey, and lemon tea in the guest house I'm staying at and looking on the phone and chatting to Shauna and Ronan. Very tasty. Okay, I've ordered my uh, supper. It's getting made. I'm having a Sherpa stew. Um, but they called me out and they said, hey, go outside, look at the mountains because the sun's reflecting off it. You can see the view of the snow peaks behind the Wang Tang village in the distance. Very beautiful. Take a few pictures of that now too. And then I turned around to look at the airport and then there's another peaks jumping out there. This was all covered by the uh, the clouds and that earlier on. Look at how pretty it is. And there's the fog going in, this sun setting over there. And then the clouds will make it in for the night. It should get pretty cold here. They say it'll get around, you know, zero, one, minus one or something. But I have a, a nice down sleeping bag and there's extra blankets and that. So, yeah, it's very pretty. Looking forward to supper though, I'm getting hungry. Yeah, beautiful views in Nepal. Okay, just got my Sherpa stew. Very good. Daddy, daddy, daddy. Okay, and then a piece of fruit and some pomegranate. So I'll eat that. But you know how it is.